Hey there guys, uh, we're headed out again this morning. I saw the trailer hooked on for the 1456 retrieval, but we're gonna go grab a uh, Super M. And if you need a hint, what's wrong with the M, I've got an arrow front on the trailer. So it's actually only like six miles away. We got my big jack with me and we're gonna stop in town and grab some gas to put in it and uh, my other impact wrench. But we're going to run that sucker down this morning and hopefully gives it a lot. Well, I told you guys what to, to guess what the narrow front was for a Super M. Um, as you can see, this Super M had an F11 loader on it that might have stressed the tractor a little too much. And uh, yeah, busted the front axle off. And I believe that's a, is that a factory IH. All right. Yeah, it looks factory IH front end, unfortunately, that got broke by a F11 loader. Just part of it. I mean, there's a lot of M's out there, so no major crises. Supposed to run and drive. I have not heard it run and drive yet. I just paid the man yesterday and decided I'd come back, turn this into a little YouTube video. But um, Super M, not sure what serial number is at all. Can't hardly read it. Honestly, it's been scraped on before. Somebody obviously has painted this once before. Look at a freaking rooster over there. It's gonna crow the whole damn time. So that's fun. But uh, we're gonna throw, I think I'm just gonna go grab a good battery and throw it on this thing instead of trying to jump start it so we're not fighting it. It has excellent back tires, like, like new back tires. And the rims are awesome too. Um, PTO pump hydraulics. So the, the game here is um, get it started, hopefully use the loader hydraulics to get it up in the air, and then I brought my big air jack we can set underneath the bell housing for more stability, and we'll pin that so it's safety pinned up, and uh, then we'll drop the wide front and put the narrow front underneath it, and drive it right up on the trailer and go home hopefully, so stay tuned. Okay, it's got gas in it, got a battery on it, it does crank, I did test that, so I'm going to set you guys up here. And uh, we'll see if it starts and if I can get the front end lifted up so we can start tearing into it. like that. I think the hydraulics feel pressure though. <laughs> Ignore that for now. We'll go grab a funnel and some hydraulic fluid. So I think it's out. Thank you. 
but I draw like food in it. So, hopefully, that's enough to get us up in the air. You wouldn't think it'd take a lot for something this size, but you never know either.
Okay, it's in A gear. So now we'll go up. Boy, that jack sinks in the ground. Dang. Front end of the rear of the tractor. Back end's coming off the ground, which is not not ideal. Not loving this. Settle the loader down. There we go. That's a little better. My jack does not look happy though. Um, I'm gonna set that back down and maybe try to get my jack underneath it more square. All the mounts for this damn loader are loose. We have to go up a little, then settle the loader down, and up a little and settle the loader down, and do that over and over a few times, I think. No tension on the loader yet. put my pin in right there and set the jack down on it. With weight. Now, now as I get it settled down, I'll get you in here and we'll show you how bad this front end's busted off. That's good enough. It's broke about like you'd expect. Just sheared off the tube right there. So I got, looks like four bolts on this side to drop. No, one, two, three. Yeah, four bolts on this side, four bolts on that side to drop the axle assembly down, then three on the steering up there. And then we'll get my narrow front underneath it is kind of what we're, what we're after here. So we'll see how this goes. Looks like I need Impact in a 15 16 and we'll start tearing this sucker apart. Good news is I got a loader when I'm done to grab this and get it up on the trailer. Okay, here's what we're down to. I got the steering, or the front axle on the plate dropped. I got the three bolts left that go up through the steering arm or nuts to drop off and then drop the steering arm off and then we'll get the narrow front end up underneath this thing. Seems like a pretty nice mouse nest up underneath. It's something I made at some point in time, but we'll grab a wrench and put it on top and see if we can buzz these off. So if anybody's looking for an IH wide front, I've got one for sale. Give you a real good deal on it. Nothing wrong. Might might need a couple welds, but 
it'll work. But back to the matter at hand. There's the narrow front. Wide fronts out from underneath. I gotta change out the bolts because those bolts there are too big to go in my narrow front. This narrow front came off a of 300. This is a Super M. I don't know. Maybe they're different sizes or something like that. But we're gonna. Um, I got bolts to put in there that I brought along. I'm gonna cock this sucker over the steering over a little bit so I can get those bolts out. Not a big deal. And then we will put this narrow front underneath it. Fire this girl up and. Uh, Hopefully grab that wide front with the bucket and uh, go load up. Get the hell out of here. Well, bad news, bears, guys. H300 front end bolt pattern is smaller than an M, I guess. Didn't realize that till, well, just, just now. So, yeah. Now what do we do? Hmm. I got a parts tracker I go and I'm like go grab a narrow front off of probably. Oh, it's never just easy. Go figure. So I'm running back to my machinery lot now because well I have parts trackers. I think I got an M sitting there with no rear tires and wheels underneath it. And a front narrow front, and I think the tires on it were holding there when I brought it home. I don't know. We can always swap that other set of tires on there too. But yeah, we're gonna go uh, rip those off and get back out there, hopefully. Hopefully get this project done by the end of the day. We'll see. All I can tell you is thank God for parts tractors. Um, it's already unbolted. We're gonna raise this sucker up, drop the narrow front, rob the hardware here, and I think I'm gonna go find lunch, do a couple other business deals, and then get back to this. At least that's the plan, I think. But we're gonna hop up in here in the old bye die and raise up. Ta da! Not too bad. We'll get this sucker out of here and rob those four bolts. We'll probably need them here in a second. And, uh, not too bad. I'm just glad I had this thing sitting here. The tires aren't awesome. They'll probably hold air for what I'm needing to do here, and then I'll swap them for the good tires around that other other narrow front before I sell it. Because then I can basically sell the Super M with uh, live hydraulics, uh, belly pump hydraulics, and uh, like new tires. Whew. Winded today for some reason. I don't know why. Getting old, probably. I don't know, there's still some parts here probably, motor stuff. Well, we're gaining finally. Got two bolts in here. So I just have a nice right narrow front underneath it. These tires are holding air currently, but aren't great. I'll probably end up swapping those over onto this one to sell, because these are not that nice, but I can do that not sitting here on an angle underneath the tractor on my lot, where it's much safer. But we'll get this done shortly, take the loader, grab that wide front and my other narrow front, maybe grab hold of the jack too and carry him out of here with the tractor and get up on the deck. Well, I started moving. I have no steering. So somewhere in the front axle braking, me swapping on that, um, something's no longer hooked up inside the old steering gear. So, hmm, kind of shit creek here. It's a pretty nasty incline. Can't really see, but it's a good enough incline. But I can't get the sucker to steer uphill with the brakes. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do currently. I have to pause and think about this a minute. So through some investigation and careful wording, figured out I got this thing somehow 180 off when I was bolting stuff up. So uh, now I gotta try to. We got it lined back up again there, as you can see, I took my bar and barred it over and got the steering wheel turned, but now I got a bolt in the wrong place that keeps it from steering too far one way or another, so now I gotta take that apart and get us spun back around the right way. Oh, what fun. Well, after some cursing and calling myself a dumb son of a bitch a few times, I got the gear back right. We're just gonna leave this off for a little while. 
gonna see if I can actually turn the steering wheel now and grab hold of that and get on a freaking trailer. Jeez, this is harder than it needed to be. But that's how this stuff goes too. That I'll probably zip tie that up too when I think of it. Can somebody explain to me why this is the scariest thing I've drove in a long time? Christ, I feel like you're gonna tip over. Narrow fronts and loaders, bad idea. Loaders coming off this thing pretty fast before it goes for sale. I'm gonna walk back up to my pickup now. I moved to where I could load on the flat because too many hills where this thing was parked. So we're gonna back, load all my tools and stuff up, back my pickup up and load that scary son of a bitch. Sheesh. That's all she wrote. We're gonna take this one back home. Just right back to town a few miles. Um, unload it, put the hood back on. I think I'm gonna take the loader off because the loader's pretty much shot on this one. And uh, listed for sale. So if you are interested in a Super M with like new tires on the back and pretty new tires on the front, let me know. It could be yours. If not, it's gonna go up on Facebook Marketplace and a few other places for sale. So I guess. We drug this one out of the weeds. You should go drag some out of the weeds and get it running. Have a good one.